Hi, this is Jerry Thompson with another Concrete 5 Basics tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the blog and how to remove the author and the date of the blog so there is none. There does not appear to be any way to do this within Concrete 5 because when you look at the pages this is hard-coded into the page. It's not an editable area of the page. And so we're going to actually have to edit three files uh, in order to remove that information. Now this may not be the only way to do it and I don't even know if it's the best way to do it but it is a way that seems to work and it's not that difficult as long as you have some of the right tools. The tools that you're going to need here are going to be some sort of FTP program such as FileZilla and some sort of a notepad uh, text editor program such as Notepad++. To show you what we're looking at, we're going to log in first to our Concrete 5 website. The first thing we're going to do is go to our blog page and look at the dates and where they need to be removed from. So here's the main blog page. Here is the date in question. There are two ways of displaying the summaries on the blog page. One is in a vertical format like this, and then the other is a horizontal. So we're going to go to edit this page. left click go to custom template you have a thumbnail template and just a plain old blog, blog index template and so now here's the more traditional way of displaying uh, the summaries on the blog page and as you can see the name and the date is really huge in this format the other place that we have to go is the blog itself so if you click on there and you can see here we have the posted by date, admin, and the date and time. So those are the three things that we need to remove and so there's three files that we need to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is open up FileZilla. Open up a blank folder on our side. You can use any FTP program as long as it shows both sides here. The default themes for Concrete 5 are not in the normal theme or package directory. If you come down here to themes, it's empty. The default themes are up here inside of Concrete, and then there's a whole set of file folders that look similar, but here in this theme folder is where you have it. We open up the Greek yogurt, our default theme that we're using. And here's the blog entry page. So this basically is the skeleton for the page. This helps lay out the page where you're entering your blog. We're going to download that. And then we're going to go get the two template files for the blog landing page. Those are... Here's the top level. We're back all the way out to the top. Again, we have to click on Concrete. Then we go to Blocks. Now we got to find page list, templates, and we're going to alter both of these files. We're going to select them both and download them. Alright, once you have the files downloaded, you can select all three, right click and hit edit. This is going to open up Notepad++ for me. I've already had this open, so I'm getting this is already being edited. Uh, normally you won't see that, but I'm going to say yes. And then i got to do yes a couple more times. Sorry about that. All right. So now we have these three files in Notepad++. And we're going to edit each one. We're going to comment out or deactivate the code. So you don't actually have to change the code. And if you want to undo your changes, you can do it very easily by removing the edit. So in this case, on the blog entry page, we're looking for line 61. It could be a different number, but this is what you're looking for, uh, where it talks about the author, posted by, author. And so to comment out, it's very simple. You do the left arrow, exclamation, dash, dash. And then on the other side of the code, you do dash, dash, the right arrow. So it's going to look like that. And if you do it right, it's going to be green. So we're going to start that at the very beginning. So left, exclamation, dash, dash. And we go down to the end. 
make sure you get everything dash dash arrow if you've done it right everything above that point will still be in color and everything below that point will be in color and at least some of the things in between will be green okay so that one's done for the blog index template we are looking for this command right here it says posted by author date so that's the command that's what's going to go in on that page we do the left arrow exclamation mark dash dash you notice the h4 turned green and now we need to do the dash dash arrow and everything else came back to color and then same thing here this one's a little trickier in that it's not quite as obvious on the blog index thumbnail but you still see the date command here and this echo um, I'm not sure what that's pulling in but that's the place so again left exclamation dash dash go to the end of the line dash dash uh, right arrow now you can save all of these and now we're going to re-upload them if you get FileZilla wanting to upload them for you automatically don't do that because it's liable to upload it to the wrong place so there's the message I'm going to say no no and no and I like to delete the file that's there and then upload the fresh ones so we're going to go right back to where the templates were now over here we have to go back to the theme Okay, we're at the right level for the themes. Here's the themes. Here's the Greek yogurt. Here's the blog entry. We're going to delete that and upload it. Now we're going to go refresh our pages and see if we were successful. So here's the blog page itself. We're going to hit the refresh. And you can now see that the author and the date is gone. We're going to go back to the main blog page. and where the date used to be above the picture here it's now gone if we click on edit edit this page and if we change the template go to custom left click custom template change that to plain old blog index again there's no uh, author or date here as I said at the beginning um, I don't know if this is the only way to do it and I don't know if there's any unforeseen consequences I don't believe there are but if there is a problem please uh, post it on this video and I'll see if I can resolve it otherwise I'll just have to take the video down thank you for listening to this concrete 5 tutorial on how to remove the author and the date from the concrete 5 blog